Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. Just at this urban lake here. There's a little island out there that I think is gonna be just perfect. Uh, we got about an hour and a half till the sun sets, so I'm gonna inflate this little boat and we'll paddle out there. The rain stopped, it was raining earlier, so that's good, but there's a headwind blowing at me uh, right where I'm gonna try to paddle up to the island. I really hope this works. If not, we'll have to try this again. But, let's see what happens. Yeah. This thing is like bigger than I thought it was. This little raft's got three chambers, labeled one, two, three. So I'm assuming that's the way we do it. And uh, they really don't want you to over inflate this. So this thing is set on kind of inflating your air mattress level. I think it'll do just fine. Got everything I need, car's locked up. The story is bird photographer. The reason I'm out at night, owls. That's about it. Let's say there's a big owl, come up with some fancy name or something. But nobody's gonna ask me as soon as I paddle out there because there's nobody on the lake. Nothing on there other than the wind right now. And uh, farther than I thought. <laughs> mm. I think I'm about halfway. And clearly, I gotta be pretty careful about uh, this thing losing air. Because <laughs> the pump is back in the car. And if this deflates on me, it's gonna be a lot of inflating to do by long. Made it to the island, and I don't think they'll have any doubts that I'm filming birds. Okay, so the island here, the birds have been using it for a bathroom, uh, so it's pretty much all over the ground. I'm uh, glad I brought a shelter. Now there's uh, the hammock, and I also brought the little tent. So depending on what we need to set up, we can do that. I prefer the hammock, because it's of many uses, not just uh, as a tent, I can relax in it. Well, some other stealth camper was here. Probably have to haul that out of here, if possible, but uh, yeah, we can get down to the other side here and check this out. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, people, people. But over here, on this side, I can see the rest of the city over there. If the leaves were out, this would be absolutely perfect. There'd be tons of cover, but I'm just gonna have to go further back there. here, which I'm sure there is. It's a long swim back. There's 
very nice of them to make the bottom of this raft black so it blends in a little bit better. And now, the exciting thrill of sitting still, being quiet, and hiding. There's a sign over there. I can't read what it says, but I got a feeling it's for me. I'm not going to use the hammock because these trees are covered in English ivy. So it's going to be the tent. And I'm going to set that up right away. Oh, there's birds right above me. I hope they don't do anything. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but it looks like it could. Now, normally I would probably just sleep here under the stars, but for the birds flying overhead. So I've got these uh, oars that came with the boat and they have uh, rod holders and actually this fits right inside. So let's see if I can use this as a shelter and kind of hang my camel fly over one end of it. That might work, might just work. Oh. Just crazy enough to work. Well, what can I say? This should do as long as it doesn't get too windy. Time to celebrate step one with a nice glass of Pinot Grigio because it's a beautiful night for step two. Yeah, it comes in a <laughs> box. It's uh, convenient for camping, I'll say that. It's easier to carry around than beer and lighter. Those beautiful lakefront homes over there it seems like they can see me, but they have their lights on and it's getting a little dark. It's just about the end of twilight. So in reality, with their lights on, they can't see out the window into the dark. So I should be good to walk around this island a little bit until they turn their lights off and then they'll see anything glowing on the island. Just right back there is the boat launch I put the raft in and doesn't actually look that far from here so that's good because I'm gonna want to get home pretty quick in the morning that's when all the anglers come out it's starting to rain a bit so I'm just gonna hide under my boat and have some wine and hopefully it'll blow over It's really not so bad in here, it's actually quite nice and it's good to be out of the rain. This pole and rod holder, I've just adjusted it up a little bit to give me as much height as I can get. I can still sit uh, cross-legged in here. Well that rain hasn't let up and that might be a good thing because I didn't bring as much water as I thought I had. So I'm trying to figure out how to make tonight's meal work and still have enough to drink and lesson don't do what Steve does. The first thing you should pack is your water. <laughs> so I got one little thing that I need to save uh, for drinking. I'm not just going to make a meal with it and boil some macaroni. So I threw a pot out there to collect some water in the rain and hopefully we'll get at least enough to, to make this meal. Time to put a meal together. Uh, I didn't collect much water. In fact, there's nothing really in there. I'll show you that. We got uh, a few little drips of water. That's okay. It'll boil off in a second anyways. And uh, got this little stove with me that runs off this uh, same canister 
as what I normally use, except this is way quieter. It's bigger and heavier to carry, but you can simmer something or boil something. It's a much better option, I think, for stealth. What I initially planned was a, um, like a beef macaroni soup type of thing. And given that water is a consideration today, we're just gonna dump in all the cans. We're not gonna put in the macaroni. For ground beef, I'm trying to go with smaller packages but it always comes in like a one pound package. I got two of these burgers. Uh, they're relatively small and we'll fry them up and then just dump everything in. And I do happen to have some uh, mini Kaiser buns baked fresh today. So that's what it goes. That. If I'd actually brought normal broth with me instead of the can of condensed stuff, we'd be laughing. <laughs> These ones are nice and easy. Full top. And again, it fills the pot. Actually, there wouldn't even be room for anything else. Even broth is uh, a bit of a stretch. This actually might be able to cook some some of the uh, macaroni. Extra salty for when I'm low on water. That's the best thing to go to bed with is uh, extra salt in your system. I did have ambitious plans of spices and garlic and all that. You know, fresh uh, onions. However, I was in a bit of a rush to get here after uh, going around town all over the place. There was a big traffic jam. There was a, a protest that blocked off a lot of stuff. So we could not get here quite in time, but we're going to make the best of it. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to throw the macaroni in there because get this, like it's pretty liquidy. I think things will be okay save the cheese packet for another day but uh, let's do this cook it slowly oh yeah I think that'll work yeah. Just sit there and cook and hopefully not overflow all over the place okay it's bad it's like Kevin spilling the chili bad oh my well there we go, it's a meal for one now. Lucky birds around here tomorrow. Oh no. Could be better, of course, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad I got something in you know, it's so dark out here and we're in such a small space that uh, I tripped over it and things did not go good. But uh, big shout out, of course, to everybody who's donated to the beer donation fund. Um, also, everybody that's having a birthday today, anniversary, graduation. I don't know who's graduating uh, this time of year, but it's got to be somebody. So... Uh, this meal would have been a bit better except for when I was unloading a fellow came up and he saw the camera on the tripod when I was inflating the rafts at first I thought this guy's going to bust me for sure and, uh, and he came over and said alright you got me what's going on and I said, okay, I filmed some outdoors things. I'm just filming some nature, going for a paddle. He was satisfied with the answer, but he threw me off my game because in the car, 
I had like garlic, salt, pepper, a bunch of more things, water, which would have been really nice to have. So that was in the car. However, it's only a 15 minute paddle back in the morning, so there's not much to take down. The shelter is the boat and provided it holds air, I think we're gonna be laughing. Not a lot of headroom at this end. The lens was fogging up because I think it's technically cold, but it doesn't feel too cold to me. Uh, this will be great. Um, the other end is, of course, looking out that way. I can see some reflections in the water there. So yeah, a waterfront property for the night. Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. All right, good night everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Not a bad view to wake up to, if I do say so. That was a pretty good sleep. Um, I have to highly recommend using your raft if you need to. That was pretty sweet. Oh, there's a spider dangling right off me. Hmm. Pretty muddy. Um, reasonable sleep though. It uh, rained a lot more in the night than I was expecting. But that's all right. Good thing we didn't sleep under the stars last night, eh? not go flat last night. Well, it's a little saggy, but uh, enough to get us back to shore. All right, it's gonna be the GoPro for the rest of this video because we had a camera tragedy. Uh, I put this camera through a lot of abuse, dragging it places that it ought not go, but this tripod can sometimes be uh, slippery on the leg settings, you know, like these things, they just hand tighten, and if it's not completely tight, there can be a little slide like that. Now that's what we had. Let's tighten that back up. Yeah, there we go. And we had a camera breakage here. This, uh, the screen was out, and it it fell over and cracked that so it looks like looks like it's just the housing the camera still seems to work but looks like it the housing can be repaired probably and uh, hopefully I don't know this yeah the audio connection looks a little oh it was a good camera we'll take it in and see what we can do but in the meantime let's get out of here and film with the GoPro on the way back all right, I'm grabbing whatever the junk I can fit. I've decided I'm gonna leave this uh, this tarp here. Uh, I'd had plans to bring it out of here, but two things had me reconsider. One is I don't really have the capacity in this raft to sanitarily carry that. And secondly, if somebody were out here paddling and a big storm came up and they needed to seek shelter, it could be something out here for somebody to use. I am not pleased that it's here, but at this point I don't have the capacity to get it out of here. But we'll just grab a few more things and uh, head on back to the boat launch. We're sailing.
All right, that was a walk in the park. Today would have been a much nicer day to be out on the lake than yesterday, but that's a okay. I'll drag this in and see if we can uh, fit this somehow back in the car, which I'm a little skeptical of because it was tight when I uh, loaded it up and I don't think it's going to go back together quite as nicely, but we will see. That's about the grubbiest I've gotten in one night of camping in a while. <laughs> but uh, that basically concludes this little video. Um, please subscribe if you like these things. I would uh, not be offended by that. Um, and I've got a couple more videos on Vancouver Island I'm doing. And uh, hacking away at the Step 2 channel. Um, just getting something compiled. Uh, things are a little trickier now with my camera out of commission. So today is camera shopping, I guess. And on the bright side, if this one gets fixed, I'll have two cameras for multi-shot videos and an extra battery. So it's always an upside, I suppose. Um, but I was not expecting it to be new camera data soon. Anyway, um, grab that if they got them locally here. And I don't want to close that on cord. Okay. So uh, please stay tuned until next time. You have been camping with Steve, and as always, whatever you do, don't do anything I do. Cheers, everyone.